Nigeria is a rather large country with a population of over 200 million people making it the most populous country in Africa. Unlike East African countries, in the West, many regions such as Nigeria benefit from a tropical climate with lush vegetation and a diverse range of crops that grow all year round. This highlights just how important agriculture is in reducing poverty in Nigeria. Before oil was discovered, agriculture in Nigeria was booming. That was the gold we had. However, as we discovered honey, we threw away the bean cake. Though honey is sweet, it's the bean cake that can best quench our hunger. Nigeria youths are not encouraged to see farming as a prospective career. Instead, we are geared up to have white collar jobs. While the share of Nigeria's workforce in agriculture is declining gradually, the majority of Nigeria's population will continue to be engaged primarily in agriculture for at least the next decade. Nigeria alone has the land area of 98.3 million hectares, with 74 million hectares good for farming. Yet half of this arable land has not been exploited to produce crops and livestock to stem the stress of hunger through efficient food production systems. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are in Actus University of Calabar and we have dedicated our past months to selflessly work on this project to create opportunities in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic while improving the standard of living and creating wealth. Sit back and relax as we take you through this journey on how we innovatively and creatively enabled progress and transformed lives positively. Welcome to Nigeria a country where our stories are as diverse as our culture. Often these stories are full of positivity, resilience and pride. Despite these, we as Nigerians face a lot of challenges, from lack of food and insecurity to unemployment and police brutality to name a few. We must all agree that 2020 was a traumatic year for the world at large and for our dear motherland Nigeria. From the COVID-19 lockdown to the endless protests to the looting in various states, let us narrow it down to our beloved Cross River State, which is greatly known in the South South for agricultural strength, from our Afang leaves to cassava flakes to groundnut and our ever rich palm oil to mention a few. But we still had a lot of hungry citizens and farmers whose products perished for lack of adequate customers. Heartbreaking, isn't it? In a 2021 survey of 520 Nigerian agri businesses, consumers and smallholder farmers. 60 percent of the farmers said they experienced wastage of perishable foods like tomatoes, 21 said there was inadequate access to markets after harvest, and 90 percent of the consumers complained bitterly about their increase in the price of foodstuff. 95 percent agreed that they experienced severe hunger and unavailability of food during the pandemic. COVID-19 dramatically increased the number of people facing acute food insecurity in 2020-2021. WFP estimates that 272 million people are already or at risk of becoming acutely food insecure in the countries where it operates. COVID-19 threatened the already fragile state of hunger in Nigeria. Citizens across the country went against pandemic regulations to sell small items or beg for food on the streets. In Cross River states, the federal government and humanitarian organization distributed free food to people whose food supply had been cut off by pandemic safety measures. Many weak stampedes to get the food and still many were left with nothing. The problem stems from the fact that agricultural markets like banks exist on the formal plane, whereas smallholder farmers exist on an informal one. So farmers and markets cannot communicate effectively. Smallholder farmers do not know what the markets will pay. They can't grow crops according to the market specifications because they don't know the specifications. They have no way to learn the farm management practices that will let them double or even triple their yields. Instead, they grow mostly what they can eat or trade locally, thereby remaining abject poverty. We met with Mrs. Afion, a local farmer in Cross River State, who could not get customers to get her food produce on time. You will pay money to their bush. After cleaning bush, you pay money to till the farm. After that, you pay money to plant the water leaf. In fact, one bed like this, 
pepe pepe pe, it can be before you get the uh, the what I live like uh, as mm -hmm. a sometimes it can end it can reach fifteen thousand. Get when you sell them when you sell them how fast do you get the return? It's not fast though. It's not, wow. it's not fast because like this bait mm -hmm. you can you can enter fifteen thousand. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the first cut you want to cut the water lake is 4,000. Okay. The second, three. Mm -hmm. But small, small before you mm -hmm. reach the, uh, the, the 15,000. It's not a thing where you do, you do 15,000 okay. and you harvest 15,000 that's it low. No. Okay. It takes but time. It, uh, your take time. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but how do you have uh, regular customers to? Mm. Or, or do you just sell it to the market or you have customers come and buy from you from the uh, I sell it from the, to, market. to the market. Okay. okay. Mm. But some people get customers to come and buy. Right directly. Mm. Okay. Okay, no, no problem, man. As a change agent, trained to see possibilities in every situation, we decided to tackle the issue of hunger and poverty through agriculture by creating a channel to link farmers and buyers more efficiently ladies and gentlemen we present to you our mobile application which we tagged food mobile niger food mobile niger is a mobile application which bridges the gap between farmers and buyers it is a digital food market that gives food sellers buyers and traders the opportunity to trade efficiently as well as give buyers the opportunity to purchase food at a subsidized rate it simplifies the tedious process of purchasing food by bringing all parties together on a single platform with a simple user interface and dual functionality. The app serves both farmers and purchasers depending on the rule the user logs in with. The application layout is quite descriptive and this allows for easy posting, searching, categorization and payment. After transaction, the client's bill is calculated with the amount in transaction ID stored online. During the final checkout system, customers can pay through the bank or by online transfer. A notification of requests for shopping and payment process comes on through the admin side of our application, watched using the smart device on the laptop during working hours of 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Farmers and Food Mobile Niger agents are immediately notified and connected to a ready buyer in their region to sell his or her product. The request is stored in a virtual order tray and forwarded to the van driver or food mobile niger agent the driver or agent picks up the vehicles and delivers it to the appropriate billing and shipping address private individuals or organizations can also pay at the point of delivering but only customers within our region with a receipt voucher before this a strong trust and data of farmers are collected from their bio data date of planting and possible data of harvesting is collected and the farmer's farm monitored to ensure the smooth running of the business with food mobile ninja we create transportation of farm inputs from the farm gates to the market thus overcoming isolation of smallholder farmers with our ussd system farmers can be on board without data with ease and on the go this is a mobile phone based service that provides up-to-date market prices directly to smallholder nigerian farmers via test message we create a database of farmers in calabar and apabio and connect farmers to a poten to potential buyers at a fair price our apps also provides direct guidance to farmers as to what crops to grow when to grow them and what markets to send their produce to in the food in the future food mobile ninja will include the use of precision agriculture to help farmers work smart we are currently creating a way that we offer a group selling channel which will allow farmers to team up and bring produce to designated collection points and get paid instantly we are very proud to inform you that Food Mobile Niger has been able to impact the community in the following ways. To impact at least 20 farmers to grow more food and sell while making profits, reduce food wastage and ensure that families have at least two meals a day, create job opportunity for 10 local talents, teach these farmers how to use the farm management practices that help them double their yields, 
empower more girls and women to see the need to venture into the agricultural market, reduce carbon footprint by sourcing for local and organic food in order to reduce the food miles, which is distance food travels from the farm gates to the consumers, and reduce the rate of importation of food by patronizing local farmers. In the words of Sarah Shea and Jeff McNeely, there is no food security, no poverty reduction, no environmental sustainability without transforming agricultural practices. Innovations that are guided by smallholder farmers adapted to local circumstances and sustainable for the economy and environment will be necessary to ensure food security in the future. How we overcome these challenges defines our stories and as Enactus Unical will tell stories of resilience and using sustainable social enterprises to truly change Nigeria and the world one step at a time and this year we tackled a problem that citizens of Nigeria have faced for a long time. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, saving our planet, lifting people out of poverty, advancing economic growth. These are one and the same fight. We must connect the dots between climate change, water scarcity, energy shortages, global health, food security, and women empowerment. Solutions to one problem must be solutions for all. Thank you.